So tetras and rasporas are very popular aquarium fish. In general, they tend to be very easy to keep, but they really do best in a busy fish tank where there's plenty of other fish to swim around and interact with. With a lot of these species, particularly things like your serpes, if you don't have many of them, they can become a little bit nippy and aggressive. And some of your other tetras tend to freak out just a little bit if there's not many of them. But in a situation like this, where there's lots of room and they're nice and busy and everyone's running around, getting along, it's beautiful. When there's less of them, they tend to fret more and they also tend to be more aggressive. So getting plenty of them, keep them in their school, is one of the keys. Making sure you've got good water quality is always a key. And then the food you feed is absolutely a key. So with these tetras, the foods that I feed, I'll feed the Danichi and this particular one, the Danichi Tropic Max, I get very good results with that. And I also tend to feed your Spectrum Probiotics. They're the two foods of choice for me if I'm gonna keep Tetras. And I'll try to keep them with the pH on the slightly on the low side. A present but low KH, a present but low GH, and generally slightly higher temperatures to keep them around like 28 degrees and they're just beautiful rewarding fish as with all fish change is king so you tend to get these tanks and you thoroughly enjoy watching them but then after a year you've sort of seen them and within a couple of years I tend to really recommend and shaking stuff up and by that, what I tend to do is maybe trade them in, and get something new. Because one thing about fish is when you've had the same fish for a while, you tend to have just seen them. So change is king. Change is what keeps you interested, keeps you focused and looking after it and enthusiastic.